Hello everybody, it's September 14, 2022. In this video, I'm going to discuss with you about Saturn and Uranus and how is it going to impact our life. I'm doing this video out of my recording of Model 3 out of five models that I'm teaching my Astrophanas method. And after teaching this today in a more technical and detailed way, uh, I thought to create a video to bring extra knowledge to what is happening specifically related to Saturn and Uranus and it's related to governments, technology. <laughs> we are living in the last phase of Saturn and Uranus square. Because they are moving very slow and completing a cycle every 40, 44 years, we are considering important aspects between them to last around two years. So this October 2022, we are actually ending the square that lasted with us for the last year, one year and a half, 2021. And we all can understand already what it was related with. Technology, Again, science, uh, you know, belief, technology, science, nature, governments that are not very much stabilizing way of control. This is a square. This is a challenge that is part of the phase to what I'm going to illustrate for you. So as I've said, it's, this video is by the inspiration of uh, my uh, recording for the teachings, uh, my Astrophanas method in five models, where I'm going to teach finally how I'm creating my forecast for markets, looking months ahead, and I'm teaching all the practical tools uh, to a person to be able to do the research and to develop uh, based on the techniques that I'm showing, uh, various things, but mainly for uh, market forecasts, how I'm creating the chart and how I'm looking on astrology, also understanding the geopolitical development of things. Uh, this course is, uh, of course, in welcome to those that have pre um, prior astrology uh, knowledge not need to be very advanced but needs to understand the main topics of the main aspects the main archetypes of the signs the planets and even to uh, to detect the symbol of a planet with its name then i'm just showing the techniques and the way how to look at the things so let's begin with saturn and Uranus that started current cycle in 1988. As I've said, they take around 44 years to complete a cycle. And they will close the cycle in 2032. A lot to expect regards technology, people behavior, and government structure. Someone is trying to rule us, and it's not specifically your prime minister from right or left or this agenda or belief system. It's beyond it. This is another fight. I will start showing you things. And just to illustrate, only the Saturn uh, and Uranus conjunction uh, pro uh, progress through time. They met in 1988 in Sagittarius <laughs> in 27 degrees. So interesting that all 2020, with all the crisis of the COVID, we had eclipses in this axis. And Sagittarius is ruling the world, the belief system, the churches, the globalism, and it's very much the agenda of the globalism. So we started in 1988, a big dream about one world government, 
um, controlling the entire world. So interesting, the 27 is like in numerology 9, that is another symbolism of <laughs> Sagittarius. And, um, and overtaking um, the truth is all about fighting about what is true. So you believe Uranus is science, Saturn is government, Uranus is also people, humanity, technology, high intuition. Saturn is our karma and our structure, how we are basing. And when we are looking on the cycles of Uranus and Saturn, we can understand a lot of things that are happening in the politics, in the geopolitics as human evolution interacting with the change of the system. So, in 1999, in, in July 18, 1999, they did a square to start, se they separated from the conjunction and started to do the first aspect. We are looking on the second circle and we are seeing Uranus in Aquarius and Saturn in Taurus. Ex exact opposite to what we are now in 2022. That Uranus is in Taurus and Uranus is in uh, Aquarius. We are going to understand and to reread what was happening that, and we can already assume that this was a moment of the dot com coming and so many new technologies and companies that promised a new future came in on the surface. Of course, a crisis that came with it, because this is what usually comes with Uranus and uh, Saturn when they are doing a challenging aspect, as I'm teaching in more details in the class of uh, Module 3. And in 2008, they completed another phase and become, look on the third circle, on the third, and Uranus progressed a bit to Pisces and Saturn that is faster, we are seeing here from the second to the third circle, arrived to Virgo. So Uranus opposed Saturn or Saturn opposed Uranus. Saturn-Uranus opposition is another pivot point of cycle and change. And we remember the financial crisis of 2008 that actually led for also revolution um, of all the technology that we know from the last decade, social media, Facebook, etc., how people starting interacting with each other. And of course, the crisis that led to, uh, to three banks to bankrupt. And out of this corruption that revealed and whatever, also Bitcoin came to the world as a currency to connect between people and is still relevant. From the third cycle, we are progressing to the fourth cycle that before they are going to close in 2032, we are speaking about, we are speaking about 2021. This was the beginning of the, of the square. February 2021, Bitcoin was around $70,000. $70, and what we got, Saturn and Uranus square. This is almost the end crisis before it's going to complete, but we are going to have one more crisis that will happen in 2027. 2027, before the completion of the plan that started in 1988, Saturn and Uranus will form a relationship that called semi-square, 45 degrees. And this may finish, clean a lot of noises from all what haven't been achieved in the last 40 years. And they will meet finally in 2032 in Gemini, the opposite sign to where they met in 1988, that the agenda was about globalism, centralism, Something here is going to change completely and will start a cycle 
of decentralization and maybe it will be related with revolts and many things that are working separately and how we will finally be able to connect between them and people to govern themselves uh, with the technology so so interesting to look all those things we are looking that what happened in 1988 and is including the first female prime minister in united kingdom remind you something what is happening now in september on the same time when the queen disappeared so margaret thatcher becoming the longest serving prime minister of the 20th century the soviet war with afghanistan remind you something right now what happened in afghanistan when united states uh withdrawal from there and now with armenia and they are forcing the rush russia to protect them out of the agreement eventually ended after eight years this was the end in 1988 it was the end of the afghanistan war but what started iraqi iran war that actually no that actually ended if i'm not mistaken also the Iraqi yeah the Iraqi Iran war also ended what prepared the field for the United States to invade Iraq after this after those wars in this place and devastating pan am flight disaster shocked the world in December interesting 1988 and with flights how not because Uranus and uh, Saturn met in Sagittarius related to flight and this was a shock in the word but because uranus is very much speaking about technology and changes for changes of infrastructure i would like to bring here some <clears throat> glimpse of information how we saw the computer development it was um <laughs> apple filed a copyright infringement <coughs> against microsoft we were speaking about the ms dos uh, version 4 of Microsoft and the the real start revolution with a big dream Microsoft Excel was launched uh, all the things that how we are managing the internet m most people didn't use internet uh, and most f houses were not didn't have a Mac computer back then but this was a start and a big sort of a vision to restructure as part of evolution going to technology uh, for the next 44 years very interesting all of you young guys young girls that born around this time with uranus and saturn um, to <laughs> a conjunction uh, but this is for another debate to speak about people and how it's reflected to uh, to be the representer of the next generation another thing that <laughs> i would like to speak is about cern because 2008 when where is it when saturn and uranus opposed it was the big trial of cern sorry it's not what you should see it's not what you should see the war didn't end switching on the world largest and most powerful particle accelerator near geneva switzerland didn't trigger the creation of microscopic black hole was the investigation of the black hole and it's all made in order to in order to use nuclear energy the large hardened collider in the world's largest in the highest energy particle col collider it was built by the European Organization for Nuclear Research between 1998 and 2000. 
eight. So fascinating. In collaboration with over 10,000 uh, scientists and hundreds of universities and laboratories, as well as more than 100 countries. What they are trying to do to create energy and what we are seeing now with the world uh, and with astrology, Uranus met with a North Node. This is a preparation for a new resources of energy. So suddenly no energy. And this is part of the square of Saturn Uranus of 2021-2022. No energy initiated the war Ukraine uh, Russia that is also the Saturn return of 1991 and United the European Union is under a challenge how to sustain the unity and to bring energy to its citizens but also uh, to many other sides and who is going to rule uh, wisely energy uh, production and also 2021 we saw in 2022 the revolution of internet suddenly from 1988 conjunction Everybody are working online. Everybody working from home. Zoom conferences from work, companies. Suddenly we don't need a physics. It's all connected. But we saw it as a challenge. And we also saw the crypto that based on the opposition of 2008 that born a year after 2009 um, suddenly arrived to such percentage that most people lost or didn't know how to interact with such technology, like took time to people even to interact with internet solutions uh, back in the 90s. We are right now culminating the, the last square of all this agenda that started in 1988 with another crisis that may be the critical if this plan is going to work or not in 2027, in five years from now. And I'm suspecting that is going to fail. Some of the aspects that we saw about the filing, Microsoft, Apple, if I, and I've said they will need to cooperate together. Most of the companies, if they will need to accomplish their mission, they will need to unify. And at the same time, also people will need to unify and to learn using the current technologies that are available for us to, 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 to take back control on our freedom and privacy. Privacy is a big thing. But unfortunately, those that have no intuition, those that are blind for science and now in love in technology, but hate Bitcoin, are believing in government, but hate privacy. They're believing in what they see, but half of the world, to say the least, has new material flowing in their blood because the science said that is, that is mandatory and you need to protect humanity. What started in 2008? Part of this plan? Was... How can machine learn improve vaccine production? They were running it. They are preparing not just nuclear research is above your in our imagination is a super super computer computizing abilities that can convert and control micro micro dna i don't know how even to to to, to express i'm not a scientist but this is part of the agenda of the technology to control the energy of people also. That this is a corrupt agenda, to my opinion, that not just of the globalist, as we saw Saturn Uranus in um, Saturn Uranus 
in Sagittarius in, 18, in 1988. This is about the belief system that we will believe in science beyond everything. Of course, science has beautiful spots and achievements. But when you get so much control, you want it all. And human beings are creating energy as well. And we have ideas that still computers have a long path to go to imitate human behavior. But when so many humans are contribute, part of them, and all the information that we are sharing, this is what CERN is building. And what I'm saying now is like the tip of the iceberg to what is possible and happening under the scene. And you will investigate for yourself and you could share in the comments what you see. Machines are learning fast now. A very complicated, including vaccine production. And what about the DNA? Because we're speaking about RNA. This was already published in 2018 when things started to be in preparation. Chiron moved to Aries. And, uh, and Uranus moved to Taurus. Researchers at CERN's isolate facility have used an ultra-sensitive variant of NMR spect spectroscopy to study DNA interactions. Of course, what do you think they are doing with all what they took? All the experiments and the blood contributions. So to end this, because this is just material for thought, I'm not going to throw here uh, a final thought. This is going to be more masticated and uh, and uh, to contemplate on. I'm saying that another crisis after this one that we are going to see um, resulted in 2022, end of 2022, and a lot of uh, signs about war that putting us under fear, shortages, hyperinflations. Another critical crisis expected in 2027 that is the critic challenge for the system, for the plan that was <clears throat> energetically initiated in 1888. Just looking at astrology. In 2027, we're going to get Chiron and Saturn conjunction. Uh, almost. And... <laughs> um, this is going to be a 45 degrees between Saturn and Uranus. This is the 45 degrees before they are closing for 2032, the cycle. That will happen near Mars in June, end of June 2032, near Mars, when Jupiter is doing a quincunx the last degree of Capricorn, very falling. Jupiter is falling in Capricorn. And speaking with both Chiron and Saturn, Jupiter is the ruler of Sagittarius, where they're actually met in 1988. But Chiron, um, Uranus and Saturn in Gemini, the end of Gemini, already speaking about a broken world. Broken world. And this will be agenda how to connect the dots between all those broken pieces that probably are going to break drastically around 2027. And this will start a new cycle of building the new world that will be based on information, 
and decentralized information that will use ancient and previous wisdom and uh, scientific uh, achievements to connect and to build the new smart cities, call it. So no doubt the next years are very fragile and all what we contributed and those that we didn't see the signs on the wall I think I always have the, the, the belief that never too late at least never too late to say sorry never too late to say I was mistaken at least to say it um, because not all of us can see the signs on the wall and it could be involved with, as I've seen, showing here, with massive, um, no, I show it here, with Chiron and Saturn, <laughs> big disaster, nuclear war, that will be part of this. We are speaking about the worldwide wars or challenges. And I was saying that it's never to happen uh things usually not happening uh, disaster all over like we saw in the pandemic that it was a worldwide but still those are places that are better than others and they need us to be connected to the same to the same infrastructure this is a big plan with pluto moving to aquarius next year using all the satellites all the installments it will be a lot about fight about against technology and who knows this toward 2027 could be a star war <laughs> explosion of different satellites on others but it may apply on different things on earth too but we are called from now to find alternative solution Pluto in Aquarius is encouraging us to find alternative, extreme, different solutions. So I know that this topic can be expanded more and more. I just was enthusiastic to share more uh, pieces of information about this uh, huge cycle that we all can learn and we we'll remember being part of the technology revolution. Um, I was teenager around this time uh, from this conjunction even not teenager just I was 12 and we grew through it we saw the signs we are still called to learn ways to decentralize our data, manage it in a smartest way and to connect with like-minded people, with, like, with, with, with technologies, with opportunities, with lifestyle places to allow us to move to the next side, uh, to the next step when things will be more challenging. Um, yeah the divine is always giving us the exit out and it will be interesting to see for you what is how your how those transit to interact with your own chart some people that are designed to be to prepared with it can have a great experience uh, through all those changes as well this is a balance in life but it's so interesting to see the history, check for yourself what happened in those years that I've just mentioned and try to prepare for 2027 and for a new cycle to begin from 2032. What I'm saying for a long time in all the last videos of the last year and a half, <laughs> what you think you have right now to be safety in a material level, maybe not going to be much valuable and uh, even the computers and the technologies that we are using right now will convert to something totally different or will be uh, hard to manage 
uh, with uh, <laughs> with new devices or with with new circumstances as we can speak also about solar flares or other things that could shut down a lot of um, satellites, devices, etc. And we were all based on such um, <laughs> on such devices and revolution that we are still excited to create. Check the link that you are seeing here, the link tree Point e e osher eco um you will find there all the links to other services if you want to see the live chart for main indices how i'm drawing the line uh, of the markets until march 2023 i'm also teaching how to do this in the course of five models everything to start from model one and i'll see you in the next one good thought